My name is Rev Valdez. I am a Filipino American children's book author and illustrator. I am the creator of Bunso Meets Amumu. I hope you have as much fun reading it as I did making it. Thank you. Bunso Meets Amumu, written and illustrated by Rev Valdez. Hi, my name is Bunso, and I have a really scary problem. My ate always tells me spooky stories at night, but the scariest one is about the mumu. She says that the mumu likes to punish kids who misbehave by sucking the fun out of everything. My mom says, "Bunso, no drawing on the walls, or the mumu will get you." Oh man! My dad says, "Bunso, eat your tinikwan, or the mumu will get you." Yeah. My kuya yelled, "Bunso, don't play my video games. If you do, the mumu will get you." My ate heard everything, and she burst into laughter. <laughs> the mumu has cursed you. You must have been real bad. <laughs> oh man, why me? The mumu will not let me draw. The mumu will not let me have ice cream. The mumu will not even let me play video games. The mumu is kicking away. Everything I love. If I don't stop him, who knows what will happen next? What is my plan of attack? Hmm, power blast? A giant dinosaur? Ninja stars? <laughs> to learn which one is best, I must first study my enemy. So I asked my dad, "What is a mumu?" He told me. A mumu is a mad cow. He attacks kids who stay up too late. I asked my mom next, and she said, "A mumu is a vampire bat that splits itself in half. It grabs kids who are troublemakers." Ugh, gross. Kuya, he said, "The mumu is a monster with a bajillion teeth. He eats little nerds who play video games that don't belong to them." <coughs> Lastly, I study the TV dramas my mom watches. The mumu is a spirit that returns from the dead to haunt the living. Hmm, this is good stuff. After much research, I have finally crafted the perfect battle-ready armor, Mumu Hunter. <gasps> then I finally hear it.
can't believe I beat them all! <laughs> but soon, I hear a noise. It sounds like the moon is crying. I feel sorry for him. That's risky, but I want to take a peek. Mumu doesn't seem scary at all. He's soft and round, like a marshmallow. Turns out, he isn't the monster my family made him out to be. The Mumu shows me his life story and how he got here. Long ago, Mumu came from the Philippines. <laughs> That's where my family's from. He worked hard every day of his life and never got to have any fun. He died with so much regret. He came back for a second chance. Ooh. Wow. It's been so long since he was alive, he didn't know where to start. He wants to try it all. I can help you with that. We can play all night. I try to show Mumu how to play properly. My toys. But it is hard work. My toys? He did start to get the hang of it. But still art. Slowly. Very slowly. Oh, brother. We are playing my Kuya's games. He's good at this. And before I knew it, I dozed off. It must have been past the Mumu's bedtime, too, because he left before I woke up. Little did I know, trouble was nearby. Bunso! Yikes! The Mumu and I made a big mess. My mom made me clean all day. You're grounded forever. Not bad. My record. <laughs> it is worth it though. <laughs> Cause I made a new friend.